John Gary puts pen to paper. It is the story of his life, one that has left him scared. Years of horror that began when he found himself on the wrong side of the law, sentenced to life imprisonment after he was found guilty of robbery with violence. His greatest fear then, spending the rest of his life in prison. But as he would come to learn later, he had much more to worry about. It is that story that John seeks to tell to the world, one that many speak of only in hushed tones, but one that has altered the lives of many behind bars. Secrets in Solitude begins now. John is a victim of prison life's biggest open secret, homosexuality, and its more violent cousin, sodomy. A secret that has drawn varied opinions in matters morality, whether to embrace homosexuality or not. Lifestyle that remains guarded behind these high prison walls. Like many, he had heard the rumors of the horrors that take place here and in every other prison in Kenya. Rumors of men turned into lovers of other men. As he would later find out, the stories of homosexuality in prisons were not rumors at all. They were but the reality of what he will be immersed in for years. <laughs> Pulling back the curtain, you find John Gary's journey on healing that started with a painful discovery. Right now, Nico is positive. Then comes the making of a gay man's life behind bars. The Kenya Prison Service has been applauded for its exemplary transformation from days when any prison sentence was akin to a death to one that in many ways lives up to its new name, that of a correctional service. But the confinement of inmates in tiny cubicles is what many attribute the rise in homosexuality with inmates descent into a life that only a few dare to talk about. Either uwe ni mshirika, either unatumia ama unatumiwa. Ndiyo naeza kuzisho katika mikakati ya hizo shuli. Na kama uwe si muusika, wewe ni adui. Nipata, manata hivi leo nitaongea, lakini kubaki itabaki alawamu. It takes just a few months to be initiated into this life, but that's for the lucky inmates. Ubakaji kwa hapa gerezani, tuseme upo kulingana mtu, niya yake ama tabia ya mtu. Hei, nategime mtu kule inja, nitoka na yo tabia yake ama likuwa na hizo niya yake. Kasa kifika hapa mtu kama kwa na hile niya ama hiyo tabia, lazima pia hata kwa na hile roo ya kubaka. Kwa hivyo ni hiko pia katika hii gereza, unaweza kukutamwezako, amelala mama mtu wakamshika sasa wakamshika pengine labda hukukubaliana katika mambo kama hayo kakuwa sasa kuna vita kafanyika kesi mpaka pia kwa mkubwa lakini kuna wengine baadhi yao wengine hukubaliana na wakaweza kuendelea na mambo yao mimi kutokea ni jemali hapa kwa kweli niliweza kukumbana na hizo challenge hizo changamoto ikiwa ni mara kwanza maana yule mtu ambaye alikuwa analala naye yeye alikuwa akiweza kuni anadai kwamba anataka kufanya na mimi homosexual nikamwambia mimi siko tayari kufanya hayo mambo hata vile unavoniona wewe nione tu vile unavoniona lakini mimi siko tayari kufanya maana ni kitu hakiko ndani ya moyo wangu na aliweza kuniambia mimi nikikuangalia nikikuona sasa wewe unaniambia nini sasa aliweza kunishurutisha ukija hapa unajua kama uko na shida mtu ana, ana Meet these two men who each served a two-year prison sentence, men who no longer consider themselves men. They changed their names since prison. They are now named Sakina and Sumeya. 
They both say that they were easy prey behind bars. And though they are now free, the gay lifestyle that was forced upon them more than lingers in their stories today. Jealousy pahala. Sababu sisi wenye sisi machoko tuwa onewa. Nimekata na kutandikwa na kufanyo unyonge ya unyama na kuumwa hivi maalama hizi maalama chungo mzima zimenijia. Asuma huu sabuwe ni shoga, utajijo. Ukeno kimuambia askari, askari, mimi mbona naonewa hivi, ama sabuwe mimi ni shoga ndo naonewa hivi. Askari na kuambia ripa, deni miu sinilete ujinga kama uko. Deni uko mkaugele, uko mkamadizani uko. Sa ingine moro yangu wa itaki, unajua sa ingine wataka, sa ingine hautake. Sasa unajua na vile nafsi na inaamuka. Sa ingine wataka, sa ingine hautake. Na pisa ya mtu sasa, sa inyo wataka, ndio mtu na hakutaki basi. Na sa inyo utaki ndio mtu na iwa kurazimishu. Inside prison, the break of dawn for some signifies a new day to fight for survival. And sex is often a weapon in that struggle, at whatever cost to the inmates' own health. Wanakupa chakula, pali ukipo baka hivi mapeni, askari jela asha kuja kukunyanganya, hame kupokonya, hame kusha kunyanganya. Na kwa biuku mpuna wafanya biyashara hii, huku pesa watu wa wapi, hibu leta hii pesa mara tukutandike. Hato huku kisikia hivyo wampai zile pesa. Lolo yangu ikujue na ugopa, na shukona sisi, nasumba sasa hapa. Nikijipata ni nandeo basi, tabili ni ambu kizane, chungu mzima, ntafanya nini. Kama ni kiofa nife na wengi, nisife mi peke yangu. So Meyer's life in prison was not any better. Wafungwa nzangu ndo wali mibaka. Ilikuwa sikuwa mimi mwenye mimi ndo nifanya 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 kabako. Ilikuwa nimetoka. Nimekuwa sima nenda kwa rafiki yangu mkambila mwenye nzangu mgini ya mifungwa miaka kume. Kufika hapo mfungwa mgini ya kanishika choni. Kunishika choni ya kanambia haa wewe. Mili wana zima nita kushika kwa lazima. Kambia kwa lazima uwezi kunishika kwa lazima. Mimi kwa nabda sasa alikuwa na nguvu ama huyu, alikuwa na kifuwa, kunishika kwa lazima haka nishika shingo hivi, kunishika shingo shini haka nibuaga, kunibuaga haka nilala, mimi nikalia hapo, nkasama basi ya shani pauki, nikalia kweli kweli. He considers himself lucky that he did not contract HIV, but he's attracted suitors from all corners. Kini wana mimi hawa nita hata watani kutumana kwa mwenzaki, ah, huo nungena ule flani, mambia mina mta, mina nishitika ni melechua yogatik, baridi, melechua nyama, melechua mteli na shinto si metoka wapi. Wana mba ni melanao ni watatu. Hmm. For the two of them, life has to go on and will not change their sexual preferences. And once on the outside, life picks up from where they left it. The struggles this time, though, is to ensure that they are not again found on the wrong side of the law. Our next stop, Malindi GK Prison. Everything seems to be running smoothly, but behind these perimeter walls, homosexuality is talked about in hushed tones. Nikiwa inje ya nyumba, hata nishawe kwa mba, na mwona ule jamaa, ule nishoga. Yule jamani, basha yule jamani, lakini ya sijaona. Mwana mwuma ya na feelings. Na kuwa na feelings, mtu kukaa ndani ya gereza, siona na mwana mwuma ya mdamrefu. Somebody, mtu wanaweza kuwa tempted na haka fikiria kufanya hivyo na mwana mwenza, na mwana mwenza haki. A man enough. Mimi nina overcome these challenges. Hakuna vile naona ati ninaweza kuvunja principle yangu ambao nimekuwa nao raia kule ya kwamba isingefanya kitu fulani leo kwa sababu niko jela nivunje principle hiyo na nifanye naona ni kitu ngumu sana and in lamu it is the same script but the cast is different in mets engaging in sexual activities citing that it is beyond their control leo takao kumfanya ni hobby yake la kwanza 
na lingine huwa kwa sababu ya tumbo ndaa hana makulati sasa unampa chakula unampa ma, mavutaji ukamdanganya kwa vitu paka akakubali mimi ni mwanamume nimeumbwa mwanamume nimeumbwa na matamanio kwa sababu kutamaniana na hapa hakuna wasichana sasa utamwona mwenzako ameregea regea kidogo utaanza kumgilia sio mtamani ufanye mwanamke Martin reiterates that gay sex is the rule not the exception inside these prison walls Nimewashuhudia maana nakumbuka kwa zile miezi nimekwambia mwaka jana nikiwa na sukuma kifungo hapa cha miezi mitatu ambayo nimekwambia ilikuwa ni miezi miwili kuna rumu nilikuwa nimekwa ndani na sitaweza kutaja ile rumu na ilikuwa katika wakati yangu ya kulala na ndio niliamini uraibu unachangia nikaona jamaa fulani masaa ya usiku tukilala mimi nikaweza kuona wajamaa fulani usiku ana naona kitu na watu wanapomua so mimi nikajaribu katika akili zangu ama katika uchunguzi wangu nikachifanya nalala lakini mimi nimetoa macho yangu na jaribu kuchunguza ni nini ni kinaendelea kweli niliweza kuamini hiyo kitu kinatendeka but not every inmate has gay experiences and that doesn't mean that they don't have sexual urges so pin up pictures of models and cutouts from newspapers become their nightly fantasies <laughs> but the sexual activities of inmates hide a bigger problem the prevalence of hiv inside prison is on the rise with central province posting some of the highest numbers of new inmate hiv infections Going into prison may be as a result of crimes that these men have committed but they emerging from prison with lifestyles or diseases that they did not go in with goes beyond correction of their errant ways as the sun sets on every family day one cry of the prisoners still goes unanswered but it has reached the walls of another institution Mr. Speaker most importantly what the minister has not addressed is constitutional and that is the right to conjugal rights as a bill of rights by the prisoners and mr speaker i'm dismayed that the honorable minister has not made any reference at all to the constitution there is a tax force which was formed last year 2011 to work on the issue of the conjugal rights and it is part of the report which i said the minister of my minister of officials are working on it and then later on it will go to the ag the cabinet and eventually the bill will soon come to the house must you wait for all that process when it's within your powers under article 51 to gazette rules that will enable immediate enjoyment of this constitutional right but there is another side of this debate the provision of condoms to prisoners to prevent the spread of STDs is one that has proponents in and outside prison walls sasa hiyo ndio tutakuwa ni kama serikali itaruhusu hiyo kwa mulut iendelee ni kama jamii itakuwa wamepoteza nini e, nidhamu tumekaa miaka 2 ndani ya jela au miaka 3 ule teo bibi siku moja siku moja bibi wote anafanya nini wewe afadhali nisiletwe kabisa nikaa hivyo hivyo mpaka nitoboe nimefungwa nimefunga that though would leave both those who provide condoms to the prisoners and the prisoners themselves in a legal dilemma gay sex is illegal in Kenya with a maximum sentence of 14 years imprisonment for those found guilty but the risk of even more jail time hasn't stopped the secrets in solitude of being retold or replayed unajua kule hakuna mwanamke sasa ni arege yao asambuliwe sasa ukiregea wewe sasa kule unajua wanaume watopua hakuna mwanamke <coughs> mtu amekaa muda miezi tisa mtu kule ajui mwanamke wala 
Sasa ni kunyemelea mume mwenzako ni mnyemelee sasa. And silence about what goes on behind these walls hasn't stopped the statistics from speaking for themselves on the spread of HIV. We sought comment from Kenya Prison Service officials on the many issues that prisoners have to face and how they are being dealt with. The officials we spoke to chose to withhold their comment until after the airing of this program. But for better or worse, the wider debate about homosexuality is one that has been avoided and the secrets in solitude continue being whispered in the dark. Lulu Hassan, KTN.